Citizens of the Reject Nation, it is time to go back to the DCAU, we think, with Batman Bad Blood. Does it have vampires? Does it have Ooh, blood? Because there's a little sharp a face to that M. Batman? That could be a yeah. Batman. What do you think, John? I know ah, you haven't seen it because I haven't seen it. I think we got bad blood and we used to have mad love and now we're going to find out what caused this for the Bat family. Is there a bad romance afoot? There is a bad romance. Love is a battlefield. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very excited. The last thing we watched was Turtles, which we both loved maybe the most. Yeah. Can potential vampires keep up? Let's find out. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment, let us know which of these is your favorite, and if this has vampires, because by then we'll know. But patrons, you get this whole thing, this start to finish, end to end, and that is a unique experience because it features our watching faces. Which you can only get there. And frankly, that is well worth the experience. We love those sexy rejects in the Patreon. Also, I want to say, all of these have been fueled by G Fuel. Sometimes off camera prepping, sometimes on camera as of now. I know Greg loves them, but I haven't told you guys how much I love them. I love them. Like, love without caffeine, tight. I'm nothing. But with the wrong caffeine, I crash and I'm worse than nothing. G Fuel, no crash, just a good time. And it's like zesty energy. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a fan. This is my Lazarus pit. Your Lazarus I need pit this. In a can, yeah. it, like, it's necessary. Without the transformation aspect, well, it's like a it's like a mental transformation, but I don't have to get all gooey, is what I'm saying. And I do believe there is a discount code in yeah. the box below There's this a link description and right a discount here. Code. It's a Reject Nation. Yeah, save yourself 20% on select tubs, my friend. That's a fifth dollar back every five bucks. That's four Boom. dollars back every 20 bucks. That's $20 every every $100. So you save some money, you save up, you be Batman, invest in some stocks. Different animation intro every time. Yeah, keep you on your toes, we, we just go back and forth. They know Who's you're gonna be in the an expert. Sea? <gasps> Nightwing's in the sea. That's true. Night That's true. Uh, I do like that the sea kind of tells us like a foundational character. Black mask mob was kidnapped at gunpoint by masked assailants earlier today. Good diction. <laughs> Soul was a victim of the recent turf war composed of high-tech criminals known to have crossed paths with Batman. I give good diction. <laughs> Big diction. Oh, Ooh, interesting design on him. Oh, Firefly. Brendan Fraser. Fraser? <laughs> At last. When someone lies. There's an almost Ray Winstone in every one of these. Yep, and yet it's never Ray Winstone. What's he doing? Being in Black Widow. Ooh. Oh boy. Right out of his boots? Batman doesn't use guns. Batman doesn't. Cheer that Zack Snyder. Oh. oh. Dang, dude. Ooh. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> Ruby Rose ain't messing around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, nice. I like how her fight style is completely different, but like brutal in her own way. Yeah. The inertia is crazy. <laughs> nice shot. That's no way to treat a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Jason O'Mara's back. Jeez. Hey. Dressing like a bat doesn't make you a hero. It just makes you a target. Yeah. And using a gun makes you just like them. It's the tool of the enemy, Babs. You fool, that's bad woman, not bad girl. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> Dang. Bat drones. I mean, they're pretty effective against the machinery. <laughs> Ooh, dang. Yellow jacket. <laughs> Corey's still just showing up everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> well, Modoc. Oh, I get it. It's an acronym. I've waited so very long for this moment. Do I know you? Intimately. And not at all. <laughs> Another riddle guy. <laughs> Well. Ow! Ah. Ooh! <laughs> Just destroy the whole thing for good measure. Wowza!
I don't think it's vampires. <laughs> nope. I'm going to go out I on a I feel like <laughs> it's the literal bad blood of like, you know, relationships. Like there's a, there's a history. It's thematic bad blood. Yeah. yeah. Not literal. Not literal bad blood. It's All blood you see on screen is good blood. Yeah. <laughs> Not like he punches a time clock, but I can assure you that the gun. News 52, police. new 52. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Read comics. I like that coat. Blood oh, Haven. Nightwing centric at last. Almost forgotten what you feel like. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> What's all that noise? Construction. <laughs> it's my my night job. I think I see an opening. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> Got a family emergency. Nightwing out. Oh, she knows he's nightwing. Oh, I was like, I'm in. Well, your trip to the rainforest seems ill-timed, Mr. Wayne. And I can do whatever, whatever the bloody hell I want to. I'm frankly. I think we're done here. <laughs> Bring them to Lucius. He's more than capable of handling things while I'm gone. Deep fake Alfred. Wisdom. How long has he been gone? Two weeks, one day, 15 hours. Not that I'm counting. There's already been a sharp uptick in underworld activities. Oh! <laughs> a little Grant Morrison action. You disappeared. I can't get away from you. The suit. So the storyline they teased, James Gunn teased, is... Actually, Dick Grayson in the bat suit. I don't think that's what they're gonna do, but that is that run that they. Oh, that's sick. I, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna. I want to read that at very least. Oh, it's so good. If you'd finally accept Mr. Wayne's offer, we could do lunch every day, Dad. With your background in physics and math, Dad, you'd be an extraordinary asset. Exposition, Dad. <laughs> I said no before I went into the service, and it's still Why does no. Lucius have Damien and Bruce Wayne's hairline. <laughs> <laughs> it's a requirement for all Wayne employees. <laughs> if you reach a certain level, Just, you gotta have the same. It was that? <laughs> it's like an Osborne. I'm gonna get those cornrows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I thought your doctor told you to get whiskey that and up. salad. Yeah, Just like Mama taught me. With your whiskey. <laughs> Are you sure he's dead, Kate? This is Batman we're talking about. I need your help on this one. Oh, boy. Please tell me it's not him. I'll see what my network can dig up on your mystery man. <gasps> she cut her hair since the first scene? It's a wig in the comics. Because ah. that way, it's one, one more thing to throw off people off the trail. Watch your back, Kate. Nah, you got this, Kate. Said a wig does seem like it'd be kind of a liability in a fight. I mean, <laughs> all of a sudden your face that. falling off. Very pull tricky. your cowl all over the place. The whole mess. Yeah. Gotham's my bitch. <laughs> Which makes you mine. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to be dead. Let me fix that for you. <laughs> <laughs> he was dead. He got better. <laughs> <laughs> Had a Ninja Turtle flashback for a second there. It's coming back. Robin, somebody kill this fucking kid! <laughs> <laughs> Damien? <laughs> I have to babysit you again? <laughs> Damn it. I could have handled this alone. If that's your best Batman, you're not going to fool anyone, Grayson. <laughs> Dude, you got to pull double duty now? There's no way you're going to pull this off without my help. Modest as ever, I see. I'm more Batman than you'll ever. <laughs> <laughs> You've been tracking me all night. First, tell me why you're running around Gotham playing dress up. I'm guessing Nightwing. <laughs> <laughs> Just because have I some respect doesn't mean I'm a part of your little cult. You really have a way with women, Grayson. I mean, he does seem to. He does, except when he's Batman. Yes. That was that was how women react to Batman. <laughs> so I think he's doing better than you think. Yep. Report on Batwoman, aka Catherine Kane. Katie, she's impressive, but her methods make her a danger to this city. 
and to herself. How do you know her? I just do. You're young. <laughs> we're, we're, we're talking. <laughs> is that what the kids say these days? Yeah, talking. The heretic. Hanging out. But who is he? All I know is that he's left a trail of empty vaults and dead bodies across this city. With all due respect, Dad, that doesn't help much. What am I paying you for, Dad? <laughs> I love you as much as you give me. <laughs> There's some connection between Wayne Enterprises and Batman. I'd say you supply him with some of his tech. That's some theory. Dad, I just... Ooh, oh, <laughs> shite. Theory confirmed. Get us into the vault, Mr. Fox, or your soul ah. becomes a memory. He's not a licensed chiropractor. <laughs> that we know of. That's true, that's true. Everybody had a job before the job. A goblin glider? Why not, man? Probably captured all sorts of strange tech in here, aside from what they build in-house. Yeah! <laughs> so cool. Use your speed and agility, boy. Get him! I'm really impressed with all the animated movies have different set pieces to like mix up the fighting. Yeah, they're really good at making them feel different, unique each one, yeah. Yeah, like well choreographed, interesting locations. And the and fighting stuff. styles change with who they're fighting and Ooh. Almost got his dick Grayson. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Electrocutioner, stop! I have a soft spot for children. Oh, you stupid little Oh. Interesting. Now that's an interesting way to see a boss kill a hench. Better than the just like, I need to prove a point real quick. <laughs> Take off. Mother's pearls. Where did you get this? Oh, oh. What? Where did you get that jewelry? <laughs> what the hell is this? that ayahuasca trip you're on. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there, Bruce. It's okay. Ooh. Uh, 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 oh, oh, God. Cool. At two, Dick. <laughs> it's cool seeing some of the like Grant Morrison influence uh, directly. Always looks like it hurts. Just so much eye stuff. <laughs> Oh, Mad Hatter? Mad Hatter? Mad Hatton? Yeah. Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Hatter. <laughs> Descendant of Lincoln, <laughs> Mad Hatter. Everybody knows it. Threading my way through the layers. You're like wet sand compared to this concrete. It's as if he defines himself by his pain. Such madness. Push past the trauma. Wait a minute. Is that Talia? That's Talia's back? He was nearly killed, but I saved him. We should capture Damien. Bring him here. <laughs> That's brownie points. I'm his new daddy. Look at me. Show him this. He will love it. <laughs> Weapons that my dad created and almost got killed for. I understand. I really do. But it's not my call. Things are complicated. Trust me. Okay? Nah, suit up. Let's do the John Ridley run. Everybody's got to get a suit. <laughs> Bat community. I'm sorry. <laughs> wonder how big it is going to be in the live action take on this. You're a cop? A detective. A detective. You, have a problem with that? you have a problem with that? No. Not at all. You just don't look the part. I'm something of a detective myself. <laughs> <laughs> Not as hot as you. <laughs> did I just say that out loud? Uh, yeah, you did. Following dad's orders. <laughs> I haven't dated in over a year and I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I give you my card? Call me? Yeah, right. I like you, but something's come up. I love you. Based on these thirty seconds we've spoken, like why is it? Why is exchanging information not enough? I like you. Where's the kid? Why did you say that name? <laughs> Dick Grayson. You know, when we were kids, and I'd see at all the society bashes, I had quite a crush on you. Really? I thought you were totally annoying. <laughs> it's okay. Master Dick was quite explicit. At least 24 hours of observation. He's not my father, and neither are you. And for that young man, you should be profoundly grateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. 
I don't see Alfred's potential kid. He created me. <laughs> when I got kicked out of the military. No shame in a little rave. Sex, drugs, and techno house. How you doing, gorgeous? Out of my way, asshole. I don't think so. <laughs> oh. Shave that bat-shaped goatee right now. Yeah. Scumbag. Whoa. That's <laughs> my favorite move. Sometimes you gotta throw a body at a body. Oh. <laughs> I, I wish it was for Albert. Albert. <laughs> completely harmless, say, Master Damien. <laughs> oh, time to suit up. Oh, here we go. Get your own Darth Vader montage. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Cyberbat. Yeah. It's Alfred. Your butler is a part of this too? Trust me, he's a total badass. Yeah. He is. Yeah, 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 watch the prequel show. Who are you? I'm you, Damien. What? All grown up. What? <laughs> he wanted to create the perfect soldier. They used your DNA and put it through a process of accelerated growth. Uh. <laughs> Mother. How dare you? It wasn't my idea. <laughs> this lunatic said he'd kill me if I- Shut up! I like his chucks. <laughs> Got chucks on. <laughs> Comfort, preparedness. I've always served you without question. I've never asked anything of you. Mommy! How could I not have felt the depths of your pain? How could a mother have left her child so alone in the dark? Uh, wow! The w- <laughs> You're of no use to me like this. Recalcitrant, emotional, your father's influence, no doubt. Onyx, get this trash out of here. Take out the trash. Tell is a boss. Wee. <laughs> Nuns and guns. Nuns and guns. It's a whole subgenre of movie. <laughs> this whole sequence is directed by Robert Rodriguez. Nunsploitation. <laughs> ninjas. Ninjas. They're running like ninjas, but they're nuns. They're ninjas. <laughs> This is Not just with gunjas. Why aren't they in the live action movies is what I want to know. James Gunn, <laughs> adapt this directly. James Nunn. James Nunn with the gun ninja nuns. <laughs> Bar son. Talk me into using rubber bullets. They're Shit. shooting nuns. They're shooting, yeah. What, what else do you want? Come on. This is every Catholic school kid's fantasy. Oh, 100%. My man, oh, the <laughs> jetpack, always. It is a fatal flaw. Sweet. Hello, nurse. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Batwing. That's original. I mean, Batwoman, Batwoman, Batwoman Batgirl, Batgirl, Batman, Batwing, Nightwing. There's a template. There's a name generator. It's like how Childish Gambino got it's his name. Tank. You <laughs> gotta plug it in. You gotta <laughs> see what's plug left. Plug into the bat generator. What's available, even? Dude, met Ludwig Gordonson last night. Crazy. Whoa, Crazy. imagine him scoring a bat joint. Oh, dude. Dude. Come. And we'll just leave these highly valuable prisoners right here. Chilling. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got a little circus in you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Iron Bat. Yeah, the, the parallels between Batman and Iron Man weren't strong enough. They needed a, uh, <laughs> you gotta make a this techno crystal bat. Clear for you guys. This is what he is. Batman! Smack him again. You know you wanna. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Yes. 
Can you blow those doors? Crowd's not gonna like this. I don't think she's been here for a while. Ooh, yeah. Hit! As like almost any Gordo. <laughs> oh! Yeah, come on. Come on! Get some cup You gotta break dance first. That's how you know you're gonna victory. Yeah, no, that's also what happens. <laughs> Got a little Indiana Jones. <laughs> yes. How are you? One piece, which is more than I can say for this piece. How are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> that's all you had to say. How are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> He's Batman. You harm one hair on her weave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Must be the most gratifying thing to get to do. Ah, oh, just glide. <laughs> Silhouetted. What do you do when it's not a full moon, though? Dramatic lighting. <laughs> Find a way. Yeah, street lamp. <laughs> oh. Ooh, kiddo. You're about a, about a little there. It's gonna pull your top half apart. <laughs> I hope Bruce fights the rest of his this movie in his underwear. Sometimes you gotta box and boxers. Yeah. And you know there's specially designed bat underwear. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Logo all up in them. Yeah. Little utility belt. <laughs> <laughs> Toothpaste floss for nights. Four dark nights. Too bad they got away. Dad always wanted me to work with Bruce Wayne. We can handle this on our own. What he just wing, Robin. You, you'd be he was dead, such bro. a big help. I'm also that's not true because you'd be dead. You really should be resting. <laughs> the summit's tomorrow. It's been a week. I'm fine. I got a fight with Superman tonight. <laughs> Bruce Wayne arrived to deliver the keynote address that will kick off the conference and also unveil groundbreaking technological advances. Researchers wow, nice place. What a home. Find anything on that hard drive yet? Sorry no, I gave it to Batwing. I'm sorry about this, Kate. Nothing to be sorry about. Goodbye, Dick. Just like that. No more Batwoman. Kicked out of the Bat family. <laughs> Dad! Oh! Yeah, damn it. Now the question is has he been brain jacked? Yep, he looks pretty vacant tied. I'll take a 50% on calling that. <laughs> <laughs> butter Ooh, knife. Ooh, yeah. Underwear Versus butter knife, knife fight with your dad. <laughs> you know, Tuesday. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of force oh. to get a butter knife in there. That's, that's, uh, ow. Yeah, ow. yeah, I was going to say that had to hurt more <laughs> than the regular knife. A man of peace, Mr. Bruce Wayne. That's what I think of when I think of Bruce Wayne. Kindness. Just kicking people out of the family left and right. So <laughs> kind. With these translators, we hope to build bridges between language and culture. <laughs> With that That's why the hat. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Wayne Tech and Star Labs have developed the Watchtower Initiative. Prepare uh... to embark on the greatest adventure. Oh, oh my. Batman Inc. Eye in the sky. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I was going to say, you're unveiling your flying surveillance station while you got these guys on the loose. It's not great. I want a mobile office. Comes mm -hmm. out of a suitcase. And all the leaders she would need are at the summit. Of course they are. Bruce Wayne. Dick's got a great hairdo. It's like an almost mullet, which yeah. I respect. Yeah. It's got that Jared Padalecki hair. Yeah. Master. Oh! Not Alfred. You don't punch Alfred. I don't care who you are. So many minds. So little time. And a new age dawn. Hey, Batwing. Need a ride in the... <laughs> it's beautiful sky. Good thing you got us those schematics. I hope my dad understands when he finds out I hacked his computer. Yeah, he'll be fine. We got him. That's what he's, that's what he's always wanted. You're in the family business now. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Cool. Nice. That's awesome. Bat fan. Do 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 do. 
Nope. Oh, get a little late in memory, Bruce. To betray Batman. We've got to find the dignitaries and evacuate them. Our what first priority is getting those people out. <laughs> Not mine. Damien's so loyal. I know from where he's come from to here. Yeah. Like, I mean, he doesn't really care about lives, but still loves but Bruce more and more. About Bruce's life. Yeah. That's a start. <laughs> Join us or die. Eh, that philosophy never pays off. Ooh. Ooh. No. Got him by the tusks. There is no you. You have no hoe. You have no people. There is only Zool. I mean, Alfred's just too ready at all times. He's he's, he's gonna take care of. It. He's Batman's butler, all right. He's the glue. <laughs> guns on guns. Oof. Gun foo. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Yes, <laughs> let's do this. Let's go. Ow. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Great transition. The old punch kind of way. It's like you're seeing stars for a hot second there. I just love that they went ham on this sky. <laughs> They're about it. Pretty little Crayola action. Most beautiful magic hour fight you've ever seen. <laughs> it's a full hour magic hour. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, don't fight me on a Star Wars Tell set you, again. Man. Yeah, you are fighting on a thing in the sky. Yeah. I'm going into Gotham. Oh, good. And it just takes off right in the direction of I the mean, city. The voyages of the USS Enterprise... Are your people about to <laughs> Save the day, Alfred! Jeez. It's like Fist is the the size of Damien. <laughs> yep. Oh! A full evolution of his arc. Not vengeance. Justice, not vengeance, my guy. Well done. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> you tried. Uh, got a situation. Yeah, you had the right idea. You passed Damn. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Fight interrupted by building. Well, shit. Like that Luger too. She's got pretty awful point blank aim with it. Yeah, but, she uh, does. <laughs> she does. <laughs> it's that German engineer. <laughs> ah, damn it. Yes, Alfred. Yeah. And my sixth training. Don't pick a yeah, fight with Pennyworth. Come He'll on. He'll take you out 11 times out of 10. Ooh. He blew his mind. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. You got clockworked. No. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> That's what a decapitation looks like. Did it's his just, head explode or did, like, it, all of him explode? I couldn't quite tell, but, just uh... leave an empty suit. <laughs> I do not think we'll see Mad Hatter in another one of these. No. No. A little surprised, in fact. <laughs> Seems like kind of a notable villain. Pretty, just pretty major like villain. Just, yeah. Nope, not anymore. Ben Foster for Mad Hatter. Oh, good call. Right? Ooh. We need some Ben Foster. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Gundam Bat. <laughs> oh. Getting tired. That dead arm. Come on, Dick. Well done, beloved. We will <laughs> at least have this victory. Oh, uh, where's uh, the programming? Finish him. Tool the enemy. That's what it's all about in the end, isn't it, Mother? You don't kill. You've never no. killed. Don't let her take your soul. 
I like how it's Nightwing's weapon and her weapon. We needed family. We needed you. Shoot him! You're not just a mask. You're a man. A masked man. I like how much I hate seeing Batman with a gun that like this that conveyed that oh, yeah. wrongness. Like it Yeah. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Dude! For the little boy who lost his world in that alley. Enough! Yeesh. Oh. Oh, that look on his face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm okay. so sorry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's for what you did to my father, bitch. <laughs> bitch! I have thought of little else for the last 12 years. Not the death of my father, not even our child could bring you to my side. You left! Yeah, <laughs> you, you done fucked up. You peaced out! You, you brainwashed him, you tried to kill your kid, you did, you, you messed up. Uh, yep. Yeah. The flying so. trash compactor. It was ready <laughs> the whole time. On loan from the the Ewoks. <laughs> or the sand people? You know. The sand people, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tuscans. Tuscan Raiders. That's right. No, in fact, the correct answer was Jawas. Uh-oh. Oh. Infighting. Oh! And that's the last we'll see of Talia <laughs> and Onyx and Killed everyone. off screen. <laughs> yeah. Hit the water charged with nitroglycerin. I don't know what happened there, but it happened. It's a tribute to the Dark Knight Rises where he takes the new uh, goes out and then, mm -hmm. Well, I suppose Tetch could have done it. Yeah. Uh, lost his head. I'm proud of you, Kate. Gabrielle and Elizabeth would be proud, too. Just wrap your head in the concussion. So you do. Yeah, I guess so. Just a little gauze. You know, just recite your birthday and your address and You're right on time. <laughs> Cute. Damn. Damn, just skipping straight to lunch Eating with the Dad. parents? Yeah. It was yeah, a she, good drink. She really did like it. Was it. A good drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. I assume you're my son. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that chin. He was more or less saluting just to the tech. <laughs> Despite her madness, she was his mother. Turtlenecks are back. Very happy about it. Yep. <laughs> oh, the turtlenecks. This is the good. It's all they need is like it's a little thin need. chain. Just and that, like perfect. Nightwing wears. Yeah. <laughs> Bad blood. Not a vampire movie. Yeah. <laughs> I want a vampire Batman movie. That's what oh, I want next. Oh, outro montage. Bitchin'. Cool. They come together as a family with their different vehicles. Yeah, they do. Yes. A quarter mile at a time. <laughs> there they go. That's right. That's pig right. Race for pig slips. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Nightwing's a tuner guy. Batman's an American muscle guy. Sure. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Drives Made an old like, SS or something like that or like an old Camaro. Yeah. Yeah. All right, the five of us, let's go let's get the penguin in a car. <laughs> That's right. This is an excessive. This is not overkill. There's not other crime we could divide and conquer more efficiently. <laughs> hey, Babs is here. I was wondering. Yeah. This is good. This is good. Big family. Ah, cool. I like the ending. So this is the official moment that taught me then that if you see the black with the red, it's Kate. Kate. If you see purple with the yellow, it's Babs. Woman, girl. Woman different. and girl. Also, J.M. DiMatteis uh, De wrote this as well, comic writer, like last time. That's exciting. Ah, nice. All right. Hell yeah. He's the guy that wrote a lot of like uh, Ben Riley Spider-Man stuff. He was a Marvel guy back oh. in the 90s. Ben Riley. Uh, Scarlet Spider, the clone of Spider-Man, one of my favorite characters of all time. Oh, dude, I I'm gotta... A, I'm a clone saga defender. I'm one of the few. I gotta, I gotta check it out. I gotta see if I agree. I, uh, people hate the clone saga, but I think, uh, ooh, Ivan Strahovski was that woman interesting. Ooh. Maria Bacharin was back. Yeah, and John DiMaggio a little bit. A mm -hmm, little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Travis Willingham, hell yeah. yeah. It was a good voice cast. Yeah, it was solid. I gotta pee.
I want to make sure. Is there a post credit? Guys, I'm trying to drink a gallon a day. It's not easy. <laughs> so, okay. You're doing so great. I just, boy. you know, it's a full, full movie. Feature length. I just don't want to spin the review spinning in my chair, prancing. No, I don't believe there is. Sweet freedom, Arbor Beck. All right. All righty. So that is probably like the most connected uh, one we've had bat specific, but also maybe the most connected we're going to have to what James Gunn's doing. Sure. Okay. Because uh, Batman and Robin, say. Grant Morrison run is uh, kicks off with Nightwing in the Batman tool. Okay. So there's a lot of correlation there, which would be interesting to see if they tie in. Um, where is Bruce in all of this? I mean, he is presumed dead. Gotcha. Okay. In, in the book. So uh, I don't know if they'd want like just because they showed the cover of that comic doesn't mean like it wasn't like the super girl announcement where they were like, sure. we're doing this like this. Like could it's, still, yeah, it's this run. It's more right. just like it's inspired by this take. But I don't it might know if not you'd want to start a Batman without Batman, but it'd be kind of <laughs> fun to be like Dick. Like if the people know Batman enough, the hunt for Batman could be fun. Yeah. Like the mystery of. Batman. Yeah, and I think that would be create a new way to build excitement towards the new Batman in a different way that's not just about people who pay attention to movie news waiting for a casting announcement. Yes, <laughs> you know? yes. And yeah. also like introducing the Bat family as like a family already established would be interesting to do. Yeah, like I would they love did that. here. Because I think we are at a point now where, where you know, Ed, culture knows Batman well enough that I think you can start to screw around with who's in the cowl and, right. and the different associates who are going to pop up frequently. And it would give Nightwing some time in the sun, which everyone wants. I feel like everyone. Nightwing's been like way overdue. I was gonna say, aren't they? Is that Nightwing movie that they were trying to do? Is that oh, the Chris McKay? Was it Chris McKay? Yeah, I mean that's been in development for like ten years. Okay, so, that's, so I don't know. So that's in limbo and and will likely be repurposed as as they yeah. kick off the new DC. And maybe they'll use some of it. Like maybe they'll then you know do a Nightwing with it. Okay, but we'll see. Um, I liked it, didn't love it. Yeah, to to me, this was one of the ones where uh, it's kind of in the middle. Like, it's solid. I had a lot of fun. It felt more like an episode of a show than yeah. most of the other movies have. I agree with that. It felt more like, you know, just kind of one in many ongoing adventures, maybe like a special episode because you think Bruce is gone. But yeah, yeah. it kind of moved and, and felt like something out of a series. Yeah, it was nice to be cohesive. Uh, like, it was nice to feel that Damien connection. It's nice to see him evolve and grow. Yeah. All those things were good. Um, but I definitely like found myself not distracted, but like not as intensely Just riveted, not, not as gripped. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know why, like there's no real direct reason, but like it was good. I'd give it like a B. Yeah. Whereas I just think that turtles was like such an A. It's well, yeah, because that one just fires on all the things you want for fun, but then yeah. it goes harder on the things that they don't have to focus as heavily on. Like, like they made that an actual movie, and they bothered to like really fuse yeah, that's the, real. the tones together and the worlds together, and they they really kind of smartly created that harmony. Whereas, whereas here, you know, uh, this was I feel like a little slight on certain details. It was like. The whole thing with um, what uh, what do we call him again? You know, the big clone bat heretic. Heretic. There you go. Uh, like that's a really cool looking character, really cool concept of a character. And I feel like once we got the reveal of heretic, it was kind of like, and he's done. Bye bye. Uh, it felt more like he just existed ultimately to for reveal these clones. Yeah, for the betrayal and to reveal that she's got you know Damien's genetic material on hand to just like keep perfecting the perfect soldier. Yeah. Yeah. But I felt like there could have been like an emotional punch to that rather than just like, oh, man, this this big bad who somehow managed to, yeah. to take Batman hostage and he's got his image. And, and it just seemed like there was so much There's a lot of, more nuance that could have been used with that. Yeah, it's like the appearance suggests it. It's like, oh, man, this is really pointed. This is clearly I, I thought it was going to have something to do with them trying to tarnish the Batman's reputation right. because this guy does so much resemble him, but in more of a gladiatorial kind of way. And then, yeah, the whole, you know, cloning and the or even the mirroring of like Bat family to the likeness of you. They didn't really lean into like the fact that in the movie that introduces him, he's forming a family and like the betrayal of self and like the lack of like. You know, Batman holding a gun is him fighting against all of his instincts. And then, like, you know, that villain kind of represents the yeah. way Damien lost fighting those instincts. Like, yeah. they could have paralleled those things. You know, those just a couple opportunities that would have been nice to go deeper. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and two, I feel like um, that is a great shot, though, when he's got the oh, gun man, it's and, so the, and the stick. And, like, you know, there, there's a lot. Like, Alfred's always great. Nightwing mm -hmm. is always great. I even, I, I like their Damien a lot here. I know people go back and forth on Damien. I think he works here. Yeah. Uh, Bruce, it, it, the thing is, too, it's like having 
seeing Bruce be out of commission and kidnapped. Like I liked, I thought the best stuff was the focus they gave to Kate and Dick and, and Damien and mm-hmm. Alfred. All that stuff was pretty good. And then the rest of it uh, also felt like, what am I trying to say? It seemed like having Bruce taken out of commission and put through this like mental rigor of them like searching his mind and and stuff like I thought that also could have been a little just more hefty. That one scene <laughs> yeah. was great. I would have loved yeah. to see more of that. Yeah, because like that's a struggle. Like I feel like we didn't we get the moment at the end where he has the struggle, you know, with the weapons and yeah. everything, and and that is cathartic. But I thought. I don't know, like maybe show us some of that talk he has with Damien, right. <laughs> you know, more so or, or more of it. You know, we get a little bit of it, but but yeah, like something about this it, it, for how episodic it kind of feels this one. Yeah, it seems weird to have such a tumultuous circumstance as Batman being decommissioned and kidnapped and, you know, experimented upon. So mm-hmm. I, in, in a weird way, it felt like there wasn't as much like of that heft or that kind of. Well, they get and like, dark when they go for these things a lot of the time. It's called Bad Blood, and like that's you know dealing with you know Damien being cloned. That's dealing with like their history. It's dealing with all those things. But that was all the stuff they like kind of breezed over, not breezed over, but they could have div- dove into the title earned. You yeah, know? especially for one of the slighter movies too, in terms of run, yeah, I mean runtime, very short. And um, I mean Talia, <laughs> Talia, like I did kind of feel like thinking back on the continuity. It's like Son of Batman. She takes off like there is, right. I believe, a little conversation at the end about, you know, perhaps kind of both being involved with Damien's yeah, life. Yeah, there was almost and, like a neutrality. And that was the last time we saw her. And yeah. then she was also like there was a love for Damien that wasn't apparent here. Yeah. And then she's like, ah, you know, like, it's, you all made it impossible. And I'm no, like, no, you just you got on your boat. We all agreed thing, we, were <laughs> just, we were sharing custody. We were sharing custody. Now you come back with clones and you think I'm the problem. Yeah. It's like you chose this. And when did this happen? He was what gone for like a year. Yeah. He was still monking. <laughs> like he was like they, she, she said 12 years ago. I think we met him and he was 10. So two years at most have gone by. Sure. That is accelerated it's, cloning. Yes. Yeah. So like things like that are, are, you know, it adds up, but still an enjoyable time. Still a B, still funny, yeah. still fun, still well choreographed, still action packed, still entertaining, still a great adaptation. Um, but you know, there's some that are just exceptional and this was good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll put this in the decent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Not bad a good time. A lot of fun, badass moments and stuff. A lot of fun rogues. It was mm-hmm. nice to see like firefly on screen and stuff like that. Yeah. I love Matt Hatter again, yeah. Ben Foster cast. Him. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm really curious how they adapt this to live action. If this is the story they choose to tell, uh, really curious about, you know, the, the, the next step in the bat family after this, because Nate Damien is, you know, justice, not vengeance. Like yeah. it's really cool to see that. Um, I love the direct commentary. I remember one of the things I was bothered by with justice league war was the, the, the characterization of wonder woman and Superman. But I do love this characterization of Batman. And sure. this is in yeah. that same universe. So it's nice to see a Batman that is staunchly no guns to the point of it being a plot point. Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying those elements. So, um, and yeah. that doesn't feel any less gritty no. and, and like, you know, yeah, the whole no guns thing doesn't hamper any of the bones. It's just crunch. not a weapon he would use. It's the weapon of the coward. Yeah. And the way he uses it finally, I was like, cool. Yeah. yeah. He uses it to deflect a different weapon. Nice. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, and it doesn't feel like anything is lost by putting emphasis on that. Yeah, know? I agree. Yeah. yeah. So good. Not great. Uh, but very much enjoy this. A B for me personally. Quick question, Batwing. Yep. What? How? How rich is the history across? So I've actually got a tricky thing with Batwing because to me, Batwing is one of those like power set characters where it's like, well, then like if you're Iron Man, that undermines all the Bat. Like, sure. It, it, as soon as you introduce tech, but he's good to at that, math. They said it. it I could. I, <laughs> but like, so as soon as you introduce him, it's like, why is he chasing Penguin? Like, it 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 really affects the whole. As soon as Iron Man's fighting alongside Nightwing and Batman and all that stuff, it makes them all very, you know, It seems less... like Batwing should be in space fighting right. somebody. Right, the yeah. power structure really yeah. shifts. Um, so he's got a history. I just, it's never a character I've really enjoyed. My Bat family that I enjoy are all street level. Like, I like when yeah. it's, you know, the characters that have to stay on the ground. Because um, the, then that's the charm of Batman joining with the Justice League. Right, because that's, yeah. that's that heart. So, like, he's got history. It's just not... A, I mean, to me, Batman Beyond is the only time I like Batman in tech because... It's in the future, and that's yeah. what he has to do to keep up. So, you know, Batman Bruce Wayne designs a suit to keep up with the modern day criminals because he's getting older. Terry McGinnis, you know, needs that to keep up. So, like, if you've got a tech Batman in the modern day, 
doesn't really sing for me. If you've got like half Batman, half Cyborg yeah. or something like yeah, it's, it's a little, just not a character I personally like. It's that a little much. overpowered. Yeah. He also learned how to fucking do that suit in like thirty minutes. You just put it on. He's like, good thing I got these scales. Lucius made a very easy to follow <laughs> instructional video. He just did a lot of video characters. game animatics where he's yeah. like, and this is how you do this this way. <laughs> Press X and Y to fire batarangs. So it's not a character I've read a lot, but he I, pops up a decent amount. Um, and there's tons of Bat Family. There's even more than that. But I'm yeah. always more on the side of, uh, you know, Batgirl, Batwoman, Nightwing, Robin. Yeah, that's my world. Yeah, but, that makes sense. Uh, excited to see what's next. We don't know. Nah. I mean, <laughs> it's always a mystery. It, we don't it's even good. know if Bless sneezes. Professionals. Uh, Nuns with guns. Nuns with guns the was nunges. awesome. Though. The nuns were loved gold. That I, I mean, that was a moment. And there is some really beautiful animation across. Oh, this. 100%. like like, and especially when they do those establishing shots of like the monastery and things like the that. Longest the longest golden the hour. convent, I should say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the longest golden hour the ever golden, in history. But, but that was the power of the nunnery. Yeah, more nuns with guns. I mean, nunges should be just James Gunn. How it's time? How has there not been a character who's a nun? Who exclusively uses nunchucks? Oh, call it Nun Chaku, the movie. <laughs> are there any actors? Chuck Norris is very old, but are there any actors named Chuck that could team up with a nun? Ooh, and then you've got nunchucks. Anyone named Charles <laughs> besides Xavier? There's got to be an, an actor named Charles. Charles Martin. That's the voice of Mario. Char- Charles Charlie Day. Charlie Day. Charlie Day in, in nunchuck. <laughs> It's good. <laughs> writes itself. It writes itself. You're welcome, Hollywood. You know, after Cocaine Bear, Nunchuck is inevitable. Nunchuck is, yeah. Universal, we're available to write Nunchuck. Oh, I'm on the script already. Who do we got? We got uh, uh, Rosario Dawson. Oh, I'm I'll Charlie Day. Definitely a Nunchuck. Nun, Nunchuck. Rosario. <laughs> I want to see it. Yeah. As, well, then see the opportunity becomes, you know, you can cast like some heavyweight as like Mother Superior. Oh, or, like, yeah. You know, who's a bat, like, like Selma Hayek or somebody, or who's a... Who's a like Carla Gugino? Carla Gugino there is you the go. ultimate nun. Yeah, Rosario she could, Dawson. She could kick an ass, and then Rosario Dawson's like the main one you meet yeah. to like jump you into the world. Charlie Day is just overwhelmed and squeaky and excited, but he's Chuck. Yeah, nun Chuck. Nun Chuck. <laughs> Guys, we're here all week. We are here every day. Of the week. <laughs> Tip we'll be waitress. back next week with. Uh, The Nunchuck sequel. Again, we don't know what it is yet, but let us know in the comments what you enjoyed the most of this watch, what you'd like us to watch next, what of these, where do you rank this in your scale, and we are thinking at the end of this grand journey, 40 in, 50 in, who knows how many movies in, we're going to rank them. I'm going to have have John on on Koi's Comic Corner, and we're going to make a a list, and we'll have a list off. We'll have like a a final four. I'm excited to see if there are any ones we will, I want to get into a tussle over at least one. Yeah, it's gonna I be wanna, weird. I if there's one. To I feel be like we're divisive. so on I feel the like same we have a good wavelength the exact for these. Same list. Yeah, and even even from our different degrees of like comic knowledge, is, I feel like we're still able to kind of meet in the middle. It's a good testament to how good they are. Yeah, because like you know, my having read the source material and you haven't, but you having knowledge of the characters that shows how adaptable. Absolutely. Well, that is a good place to end it, you lovelies. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Like, subscribe, all those things, comments, YouTube, it all, and stay hydrated. So you have to pee right at the very end. You'll see that <laughs> in the edit. All right. Bye, guys. Uh, you haven't seen this? No. I've never seen any of these coins. I'm going to ask you every here. time, John. I'm going to ask you every time. Good. This is good. you got to keep me honest. Because I'm, I'm no, saying it's a I'm first watch. I'm not lying watch. to you. This is a first watch. When you get 20 Absolutely. into this, you're like, no, I've seen this one. I'll be like, John, <laughs> this is suddenly all familiar to I, me. Uh, this is weird. I've no. seen Batman versus no. Turtles 72, but Ain't I haven't happening. seen the rest of them. I Hasn't will watch seen that. Hasn't seen them. <laughs>